with the California Office of Traffic Safety has some friendly reminders for all of us. Good morning. Thanks for taking the time. Good morning. Thanks for having me. OK, so even though the gatherings are discouraged, you're still seeing, you know, we were uh, for essential going to the supermarket on the road. There were a whole heck of a lot of people still out there. Yeah, it seemed like we were not fighting any pandemic or anything. It thing seemed like things were going somewhat back to normal. But the truth is the numbers are bad again. There's still less people on the roads and that's more encouragement to just go out when you can and be safe when you are out. And, and you're still seeing people drinking and driving. Unfortunately, that's that's the reality. We still saw people go for Thanksgiving gatherings and an increased number of DUIs over the four and a half, five day holiday period that we have for Thanksgiving. And it's just really important. We're in a regional stay at home order. We're told to stay at home. If you do need to go out, quick trip to, for takeout yeah. or to the grocery store, don't do it when you're impaired. That, that, that's a good piece of advice. I was going to ask you for the biggest piece of advice because it seems like we're putting these things out there and people continue to do this. So what can you say to folks to maybe change their minds if they're considering it, if you need to travel, to not drink and drive? Think of your friends and family. Think of other people on the road. That's the best piece of advice we could give. It's up to people to make that choice, yeah. but they know it's a bad one. They just need to make the choice. And if that doesn't work, you could uh, talk about hitting them in the wallet because a lot of people don't think about how expensive a DUI can be. Tell me the average cost here and what it can potentially get to. Just for a first time DUI offender, you're looking at about $13,000 wow. for your first, first time offense. Whoa. So if that doesn't hit you hard, maybe that $10 uh, Uber ride is much, sounds a lot better. You know, because I was going to, I'm glad you mentioned that because this day and age, it's never been easier to, to avoid it because you know what, if you feel a little impaired, you just get your phone and you, and you call a ride. There's a bunch of cars right. available. Right. It, you literally have no excuse now. Call a friend, take a ride hailing service. Yeah. I mean, there's so many options out there. Walk home. I mean, it, anything is safer than getting behind the wheel. Another good reminder is that driving under, under the influence doesn't necessarily mean just you had a couple of beers or you had some alcohol because there are other things involved in this as well. Uh, impaired driving could be medicine, uh, prescribed or not prescribed, correct? That's exactly right. Driving under the influence of anything is illegal. That includes prescription drugs, over-the-counter medications, anything that can make you drowsy or mm. affect your driving ability, and especially marijuana, too. And especially in combination with alcohol as well. Yeah, and we want everybody to stay as safe as possible, obviously, during these holidays. Tim Weisberg with the California Office of Traffic Safety. We thank you for taking the time. Happy holidays. Thanks for joining us. Happy holidays. Go safely, everyone. All right. For more tips on how to be safe, go to fox5sandiego.com and click that scene on tap. Coming up on the Fox 5 Morning News, the Rose Bowl gets moved out of Southern California for the first time since World War II, where that game will be played this year.